Good morning. Um, you know, welcome to another special day uh, at King's Ridge. Uh, it's a true honor for me to welcome you to Kyle Bronovich's uh, signing uh, of a baseball scholarship to Elon uh, University. Kyle, I've watched you here at, at King's Ridge, and there are a couple things. Um, I asked uh, Coach Bird if this was true. Um, I, I, what I observe in the stands is you have this real calm demeanor. He he knows you when he comes over to your when you go over to his house and you're all over the place. But from from my standpoint, uh, your calm demeanor, your competitive drive. Um, I've watched it definitely on the baseball field, but I've also watched it in your marketing class that you have under Mrs. McGuire. M many of you may not know, but he's part of a marketing class that helped kick off and throughout the 15-day time period produce videos for the annual fund. And Kyle was literally here on a Saturday, and he was texting a picture uh, to Mrs. McGuire saying, we're making progress, we're making progress. I like that competitive spirit. I also know you as a very good student, very strong and solid uh, student with a, with a very solid academic uh, record. Congratulations on signing with Elon. I was telling you a second ago, Elon is one of the hottest colleges um, and, and greatest uh, schools now to get into. The last thing I'll say before I pray, and I usually say this actually in my prayer, but um, the last thing I would say to you is two H words. Always remain humble. Realize that God has given you a talent. And you've worked with that talent, but God has given you a talent. The other thing is always stay hungry. And by that, I simply mean always be working to improve. Uh, congratulations uh, to you again, Kyle. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the many blessings of life, for our health that allows us to play competitive sports like baseball, for our families that support us, for King's Ridge Christian School and its amazing students, faculty, and parents. Father, I thank you for the talents and the skills that you've given each student uh, here in this room. I thank you for the students that work hard to per perfect the skills and talents that you've given them. Now, Heavenly Father, today we're here to celebrate a great student athlete, Kyle Bronovich, and his signing of his baseball scholarship. We pray that you'll bless this time and bless his time at Elon University. May he always be humble and hungry. Come and join us, Father, in this celebratory event. And may everything we say and do bring honor and glory to your son, Jesus Christ. In his, in his name I pray. Amen. Thanks, Mr. Rhodes. Um, Ms. Helm asked me to come up and basically be everything that you don't want to do in public speaking. For those of you who are in her class, she would like me to let you know this is not how to do it, okay? So I'm going to try to read this and stay on script best I can. Um, and I want to start off by thanking everyone for being here this morning and as we celebrate such a tremendous accomplishment uh, with Kyle and his family. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Chadwick. Mr. Pickering and everyone in the administration, as well as the faculty, for allowing us to have this during our school hours. I want to thank the marketing department, as well as Keith, Juan, and everyone with the facilities um, for making this event possible. Kings Ridge does such a great job making these events special for both our athletes and the Kings Ridge community. Today, Kyle Baranovich is making his commitment official to attend Elon University. Kyle and his family have been a part of the Kings Ridge community for the past three years and have been an indispensable part of the baseball program for the entire time. Over his three seasons at KR, Kyle has been a mainstay in the lineup and has played a major role in our back-to-back -back state championships as both a pitcher and hitter. As a hitter, Kyle has a career 333 batting average with five home runs, 18 doubles, four triples, 69 runs batted in, and 71 runs scored. As a pitcher, Kyle has a career record of 10 wins and only three losses, while boasting a 1.95 earned run average, which would currently rank him number one in school history among pitchers that have thrown at least 50 innings in a season. This year, Kyle has six wins on the mound with a 2.1 ERA, and his 90 strikeouts on the year 
currently leads the state among all 1A schools. And his 2.1 strikeouts per inning pitch currently leads the entire state of Georgia in high school baseball among all classifications. Currently with 90 strikeouts on the season, Kyle has already surpassed Austin Higginbotham's 85 strikeouts during the 2014 season to become the Tigers single season record holder for strikeouts in a season. With a fastball that reaches the low 90s and a dominating knuckle curve, Kyle has the tools and upside the Division I baseball programs covered. Elon Baseball is getting a tremendous player and person. Their coaching staff has been quoted as saying, Kyle can be an impact freshman that can build a team around and renew a long tradition of winning for years to come. Kyle has a very powerful statement and speaks volumes to what that coaching staff thinks of you and your potential there. On behalf of the Kings Ridge Baseball Program, I want to congratulate Kyle, as well as his parents, Sam and Kathy, uh, as you take this next step into a new chapter in your life at Elon University. I want to thank you for all that you have done both on and off the field over the past three years. You've been an outstanding representative of our program, and I have no doubt you will do the same as a student athlete at Elon University as well. My challenge to you, Kyle, is not just to attend Elon or play baseball there, but to impact lives on a daily basis. Um, over your time there, you have countless opportunities to make a difference in people's lives, in the university, in the baseball program. But oppor opportunities are just opportunities unless you act on them. My hope is that four years from now, you can say you are leaving both the school and the Elon baseball program in a better place than when you found it, just like you have here. Sam, Kathy, I want to thank you for all the tremendous amount of support you've given me, our coaching staff, the entire program, and probably most importantly, the support you've given Kyle and the sacrifices that a family makes um, and that you guys have made in order to get Kyle where he is today. Uh, at this time, I'd like to bring up someone who I know has become very you know, special and important person to Kyle. Um, so to say a few words, please join me in welcoming Paul Burke. Thank you. Dallas, I'm glad you mentioned everybody. Um, I wasn't going to do that, so you covered that. I think you are an incredible speaker. Um, you, you're way better than you give yourself credit for. Thank you for asking me to speak today. Um, I'm going to tell a story I learned through parables, and here's the deal. My wife, she loves butterflies, so Colby can attest that she got her, he got her a see-through butterfly thing, you know, for her birthday, and but so... Over the years, I've learned a little bit about butterflies. But if I tell a story about butterflies, will you guys still think I'm tough? <laughs> yes. Creighton? Yes? I won't lose? Okay. Here's the deal. This is a true story. This chrysalis, which is where a caterpillar crawls into and turns into a butterfly, and it takes, I don't know how many weeks, you can ask the botany teacher around here. But the deal is this. True story, this little kid pulled one off a tree, and there was a little tiny hole where the caterpillar was trying to get out now butterfly and so you know what he did in order to help that process he took a little knife his little pocket knife and he cut through that little hole and opened it up and out came this butterfly but it couldn't fly the reason it couldn't fly is because the process of breaking through the chrysalis would spread all the fluid and stretch the wings to make it big enough so that it could fly. And so out came this butterfly with a big body and small wings and there was nothing it could do. <clears throat> God says, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Kyle, when I think of you, I think of that butterfly. You okay with that? <laughs> Nothing has come easy for you. It has been very hard, and I so admire that. This is a young man that changed schools, came over here because the baseball program was better and the academics were better, coming from California as a sophomore. And then you ended up at my house, and there was a lot of nervous energy walking around and stuff like that. And yeah, he may be calm on the mound, but you're calm in the classroom. But let me tell you, when he's over my house, he's bouncing off the walls. 
And I so appreciate that. And he's like, teach me, teach me something. So we go down in the batting cage, and I'm showing him band work, and he's getting there, and we're just trying so hard, aren't we, just to get a few more miles an hour, a few more miles an hour. And the schools will come if we just get a few more miles an hour, and you're trying, and we give these, you know, programs. You're going playing for this team in the summer. Then you're calling me, you're asking me more questions. You're asking me what video you can look up, and I'm showing you Tom Seaver on YouTube. And we're going through all kinds of stuff. We're long tossing, and we're just trying to get this guy more miles an hour so that colleges will be interested. And then you do. And then the schools start coming. I hope I don't embarrass you by telling you this. I'm going to tell you what I admire so much about you, okay? Cal had, he did get that miles an hour. It didn't come easy. He worked really, really hard, and I so admire that. But there was this one school that had to have Kyle. And they offered him a huge scholarship, and it was a big school. And no, it's not Clemson, even though he went to Clemson, and they offered him as well. He goes to this big school, and it's almost a done deal. And when he goes there, these guys are hanging out, and he's his official visit, man. They're supposed to show him the town. They're supposed to, he's supposed to have a great experience. And they're in the backyard on a bonfire, and they're all just sitting there drinking beer. And then they just keep drinking beer. Kyle says, hey, are we going to go out and do anything? They're like, no, man, get used to it. That's what we do around here. He said, well, we do something? Like, no, man. We just sit around the campfire and just drink beer and tell hunting stories. But school's real easy here. I mean, you're going to love it. And baseball's great. I mean, just go get ready to pitch. And Cal walked away from that school with a huge offer, a great baseball program, a lot of pro scouts in the stands, big schedule, because he said, that's not for me. And I want to tell you, I really admire that. Because in life, that will get you places. Not pushing around, not pushing to get out of the struggle. Not taking the easy road will get you places. And I'm going to tell you in front of everybody here that you have the talent to achieve your dream in pitching the big leagues. You're that good. Of the scouts that I've talked to, College and pro, they have not seen, they have this track man machine that measures revolutions per minute on breaking balls. They have not seen anybody your age that has a better breaking ball. And you throw harder now than I did in the big leagues. And if you don't believe me, ask him. So I'm here to say in front of everybody, again, you have what it takes. And I'm very proud of you for not choosing the easy route and picking a difficult school like Elon and going to a place that fits you where they do more than drink beer and tell stories around the campfire. And I'm very proud of you for that. I feel like that embodies what you stand for. Combine that with your work ethic and you will do very well in life. You will be going places. Thank you for coming over to my house and bugging me to death on how to throw harder. It means a lot to me, and it's paid off. So make sure you pat him on the back going around school today. This is a big honor. This did not come easy. As you guys know, I broadcast and I walk around in the big leagues, and on people's chairs are stacks of information that pro scouts have gone and done for them over the previous weeks and with millions of dollars on the line there are people in that locker room that will not read those reports but there's other people in the locker room that things did not come easy for them and they will read those reports and they will thank those scouts and they will value that information and the people that do those kinds of things are winners they may not have as good numbers as the people that are just blessed, that just showed up and dominated,
that those people are winners. They're winners in their marriage. They will be winners when their career's over because they care. They have been stretched. It has been difficult road for them. And they have had to work for the things they've got. And that is a good thing. So thank you for choosing the harder road, for working hard, for caring, and being the person you are. And thank you for bouncing off the walls when you come over to my house. All right, at this time, Sam Cathy will all come on up and sign. Kyle, what a great joy it is to be a part of this signing for you. And, you know, students, you might say, okay, why are we sitting here as a whole school looking at this? Several reasons. Number one, we're a family. We want to celebrate uh, what those in our family, when they have great times to celebrate. Number two, great messages from guys like Mr. Bird. Coach Bird, you know, so many times in life we go through transitions. And transitions are not always easy. But transitions are essential. And you're uh, basically kind of feel like you've signed and go, going to the promised land. Maybe the promised land is a pros, but getting that, college, getting that college scholarship is certainly promised land for this next step in your life. So Kyle, as you go through a transition, you know, we've had a chance to watch you for three years. And you've, as Coach Bird said, you've gone through some tough times and you've endured those tough times and now you're reaping the benefits of the way you've been able to develop your skill. You know, there's a promised land story in the, New, in the Old Testament where Joshua was leading the Israelites over the River Jordan. And one of the things they did when they went from, from the wilderness into the promised land, as soon as they, they actually it was a miracle because God dried up the, pave, the path, pathway that they walked across the river. When they got to the other side, they entered into the promised land. Remember, they've been walking for 40 years and going through all kinds of hardships and trials. God said to them, take 12 men from the 12 tribes and go and gather a, a stone from the river. And if you know anything about river stones, you've probably seen them uh, as they, uh, they decorate people's homes. River stones are smooth. And the reason why they're smooth is because they've been banging around in that stupid river for, for years, eons, millennial, whatever it is. And when a stone bounces off another stone, it becomes smooth. And all the trials and tribulations you've gone through is really to make you into the polished player that you are at this point in your career. Now, you've still got stuff to chip away, so you're not done being banged around. And so many times when you go on to college, those transitions can be difficult. That freshman year can be a big transition. But what I'd like to do, Kyle, is I'd like to give you a smooth stone to carry in your pocket. Because in this transition, you've got a foundation mom and dad have given to you. You've got a foundation three years at Kingsridge have given to you. And those foundations, don't forget them. Because the trials are going to keep coming. And you've learned a lot about how to endure trials. But the real important thing is don't forget what got you to where you are today and those values and that work ethic is going to be what's going to carry you forward in your college career and if God shows you favor into your pro career. So, Kyle, we're proud of you, and we wish you well. Join me in a word of prayer as we close. Our God and our Father, we pray for Kyle this day that you would give him favor as he goes to Elon and wherever his career takes him. And, Father, we pray that you will bless him with, uh, with great opportunity, but also that you would keep him humble and keep him focused on you as the author and perfecter of his faith and the one who gave him life, redeemed his life, and now is calling him to go out and, and serve. So, Father, we thank you for Kyle. We thank you for his mom and dad. We thank you for the baseball program he's been a part of. We thank you for the school. We thank you for his teammates and his classmates. And most of all, Father, we ask that you would uh, embed in each of us an understanding that you are the author and perfecter of life and the author and perfecter of our faith. And as we go, we have the opportunity to go with you 
being the, the wind under our wings. So, Father, we celebrate this time, but we know it's only one step. It's only one benchmark. So, Father, we pray for great favor, and we pray for your involvement in Kyle's life as he moves forward. For if he takes you with him, the abundance, the purpose, the significance will all be taken care of. And so, Father, we celebrate this time, and we ask your, uh, your blessing on this transition, and it's in your name we pray. Amen.